UCLA in white, Villanova in blue. And away we go with the number two and the number four ranked teams in the nation. The first possession belongs to the Bruins. Player, and you're right, Dan. There's never a time when he takes a playoff in any game. Turns it over. Good hands by Brandon Slater. And a look at the Villanova lineup. Their starting five is just loaded with experience. Eric Dixon with a nice shot fake. Follows up his own miss. Can't get it to go. And still working hard. We got a held ball. And it belongs to Villanova. There's one of those back downs now into the post. Jermaine Samuels kicked it out to Justin Moore. Coming off a 27-point game in Villanova's opening season win a few days ago. Johnny Juzan lays it in, and UCLA strikes first. In their run for the first four to the final four last year, Colin Gillespie misses the three from the wing. Juzan in transition, off the back of the iron, and the rebound down to Dixon. Gillespie, you see the brace on his left knee, tore his MCL late last year, decided to take advantage of the extra. Well, Miles Johnson starting the game. Cody Riley got injured against Cal State Bakersfield. He'll be out for a period of weeks. Wow, how about that? Contact down low. Johnson just knock you back. Yeah, big focus in the UCLA practices the last couple of days about those big physical Villanova guards and how they like to go down on the post. Look at the spin by Juzang, the follow for Hawkins. Two Wildcats went to try to block that shot. UCLA by four early. Moore trying to back down Jules Bernard, giving up some length but he uses his strength to lay it in. Got some contact right. hitting here, and watch. Jermaine Samuels is one of the two that's going to go after this block along with Slater, and nobody there was there to box out. Sometimes you go for a block shot. Now here's the back down. One-on-one -on -one in the post against Jules Bernard, and just gets right in the middle. Left All these Villanova guards can play out of the post, and they spray it from there. So one of the things he <laughs> UCLA by two in the early going. Villanova just two for ten from the field. Good defense by Juzang. And he comes up with a little Ball screen fade action. UCLA couldn't get into it quick enough. But Villanova's so physical on cuts. Round and out for Juzang. Ball's still loose. And Juzang's got it again. But not for long. And I think we've got a foul going against... Moore. Yeah, Villanova. I don't know if Moore knows it. I think it's well, on Moore. It. Yeah. 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 And, and he's not happy about it. He was. That's a, a bit of a difficult call. I mean, look, look here. He's, he's reaching for the ball. That does not look like a foul. Those are two guys going after it. That's a really unfortunate call for Villanova and Justin Bear above the rim. Got four boards already. Bernard with a foot on the line, way too strong. Long rebound to Clark, and finally the ball goes in. And Clark bailed out Bernard on that. Dixon trying to back down Nuba. He's a lefty, and he gets the just a good passer. Spray it out for an open three. Hawkins got the switch, has Dixon on him. The kick to Bernard. Yes. Hawkins tried to. Miles Johnson is back into the game now for UCLA. Caleb Daniels off the inbound, crams it, and gets Villanova back within three. Well, Mick Cronin's going to be upset with that. How many times did UCLA go over that fade screen on the out-of-bounds? And the very first time it was run, they didn't guard it. Now a good look from the wing for David Singleton, a 48% three-point on the closeout. Just not doing a good job, Villanova, in that one, two, two, three quarter court pressure. If I do right, keeps making the odd sub. He has not gone to any of his freshmen yet. Oh, and Mick Cronin's not going to be happy again off the inbounds. It didn't cost him a bucket, though. The call, you couldn't hear the whistle, but the call was a held ball with a possession arrow. LA, and Jay Wright is livid. He doesn't think this should have been a held ball. Just a great block from same action, but instead of getting the fade, they went for the slip. Miles Johnson turns it over. Peyton Watson gets it. Single 10 again. Upperclassmen, 8, 9, 10, 11 are all freshmen. We haven't seen any of the four freshmen. 
in the game yet for Jay Wright. A great steal by Jermaine Samuels. Great hands to knock it away from Jalen Clark. And right now the Wildcats just cannot make the ball go in the basket. They are 4 for 17 from the field. Moore just missed a couple of free throws. Dixon's got a strength advantage here on Bernard, and he takes advantage. Anytime UCLA makes a switch, gets a wing or a guard on a bigger guy, they're just taking him down into the post, playing one-on-one -on -one in the post. But again, th those are tough twos instead of open threes, and, and Mick Cronin's willing to make that trade. They're not doubling in the post. Dixon with good hands, knocks it into the backcourt. UCLA recovers with 11 on the shot clock. Well, you show the ball, and Villanova's going to take it from him. And just a little too much handling there by the freshman Peyton Watson, the McDonald's All-American, who got himself in some trouble. Jermaine Samuels tried to switch, then comes over, makes a play, just knocks it right away from Clark with the right hand. And then here's Jules Bernard getting caught on a switch against Dixon. Just a great drop step, goes through his arms, got contact, didn't get the call, but did finish it. Shot clock running down. Bernard gets it off and hits it. They're going to check. They're going to take a look at it at the next season when Chris Smith was out. Great back cut. My goodness. Dixon applies from the ball. The more you can help, but that's awfully difficult to stop. Really well executed by Villanova. Over the top for Johnson. Stays in bounds. Kicks it back out to Hawkins. Campbell, the fourth-year junior, a little push-off to create some space. Maybe giving Gillespie a little dose of his own medicine. Samuels over the top for Dixon, who's had a really nice start to this game. And he adds to his numbers. Eric Dixon, now six nice side. That was recognized, and they got it to a better angle to get the ball inside. Hawkins has got the switch. He goes by Dixon and banks it home. UCLA is playing with a really good rhythm on offense right now. This is the ball, and they can really spread the floor because they can shoot it at most every position. And Jay, they've made their last seven shots. Gillespie passed up a three, give him an assist on the three by Samuels. And give him credit. It's not, you know, be ready to shoot. It's catch the ball to shoot it, and if it's taken away, then make another move. What a rebound. Slater and Johnson tie it up. It'll be Villanova. Juzang gets you on your heels, Candy, but Daniels did a good job to stay in front of him, and Villanova comes up with a loose ball. Slater passes deflected, winds up in the hands of Daniels, and it's out of bounds to Villanova with six on the shot clock. Adeline Christian, Alabama in overtime, Michigan by two, and then eventually lost to Gonzaga in the final four, Jay. Offensive foul, Juzang, in the final four in one of the great NCAA tournament games probably that any any of us have ever seen. A spectacular game. But Caleb Daniels did such a great job guarding Johnny Juzang. Only seven players have played for Villanova. Six of them have gotten the lion's share of the minutes. An extremely experienced group led by Gillespie as the Wildcats take the lead. Villanova has tightened up its half-court defense. They've been switching, not allowing anything easy. And now the lid is off the basket in Pauley Pavilion. We're seeing some shots go in. Hawkins got the switch, has Dixon on him again, and banks it home. And got fouled and just didn't get called. Anytime Dixon switches off on a wing or... Gillespie again. Tough shot. Bernard in transition finds Juzang on the wing, too strong on the three. Moore, cross court, great look, extra pass Daniels, Samuels for three. That's Villanova, right there, the back after the ball, but Villanova's done a great job on Johnny Juzang. So Caleb Daniels did a good job, Brandon Slater's on him now. Offensive foul called on Jaime Hawkins, his second. And Vic Cronin says that's a flop. Samuels is in really good position. Now, did he flop? Do you think that knocked down a guy as strong as him? I mean, the answer is no. But the reason guys do that is because the referees reward it. Turn the ball over in better than 16 minutes 
of action in this game. Gillespie's got the big guy Johnson on him, but Johnson does everything he can to stay in front of him, and Gillespie knocks down a three anyway. Gillespie's to Moore. That's one where you just let it go. Gillespie just trying to cook Miles Johnson, couldn't get past him, and then got it back and gave himself a little bit of extra. Inside two minutes to go. Bernard for three. UCLA back to the... Daniels turns it over. Numbers for UCLA. Juzang lays it in. Dixon on the drive. Shot clock turned off. UCLA, if they want to, can hold for the final shot of the half. Bernard doesn't want to, and he should have. And now Villanova's got a chance to hold it. Whoa. Juzang knocks Gillespie out of bounds. And hit him hard. Questionable plays as first Bernard didn't seem to be aware of the, the game clock. And then now Juzang's put Gillespie on the free throw line. I wonder, he's holding that left wrist. Ooh, the one he braced himself with. Yeah, and then he hit that oh. scoreboard. In and out. And time for UCLA. Juzang the pull-up. Got it! Well, this is really a man's game. It's not, the freshmen aren't going to see a lot of time in this one. Moore muscles his way in and scores. And to your point, Peyton Watts, four freshmen for Villanova. Certainly three of whom expect to be rotation players this year. None of them saw the floor at all. In the first half, as Hockey to the basket, which is what he was looking for. Now here's the switch, Dixon on Juzang. And the pull-up. Johnny Juzang does that as well as any player in college basketball. Well, you know, and Samuels has the switch. Gillespie yeah. inside, Dixon, out of bounds, still going over ball. A lot of arm there. Yeah, that, this is just a beautiful pass to split. That, that's a foul. There's no question about that. That was all arm. Villanova having trouble getting it in. They've got to throw it into the backcourt. Gillespie for three. How about that? A little bit of a mismatch. Dixon won't go down. Not the shot Jay Wright was looking for. Especially off of one pass. A turnover and a great lead pass there. Moore will slam it in. But how about the hustle by Dixon? Tiger Campbell misses the three. Here comes Gillespie in transition. Even though they had numbers, Villanova can pull it back out. Not for long. Rebound down to Bernard. And now numbers for the Bruins. Juze. Yes. You make one mistake. And let UCLA get out in transition. Last four. And the two All-Americans, Gillespie and Juzang, both heating up, putting up big numbers. Justin Moore with a three of his own. What a Campbell to Hawkins, and Hawkins knocks down the three. To shoot and make you take that shot away from him. Samuels over Juzang. And now nobody can miss. Big time defensive play by the super senior. Slater backing down Bernard. Two shots in a row have gone in between these. They're just picking matchups they like and going after those matchups. Two extremely well coached teams loaded with skilled players at multiple. There's Archie Diac Diacono back into the game for the Wildcats. Again, Jay Wright's only gone seven deep. Slater off the inbounds. Action on the other side. He's going to wait a second, just make a hard cut and get low instead of letting it go underneath. Now Slater's taking that away, so you can't really slip that in there. Juzang with a nifty turnaround, and all of a sudden he can't miss. And a score 15 to lead the Bruins. Colin Gillespie, who's on the bench right now, has 15 to lead the Wildcats. 
Samuels leaning in to Nuba. Got the ball back and eventually made it with three. Now he's more switched off on Nuba. Juzang pulls up again. Seven in a row that he's made. Well, and you say, hey, make me a little floppy action. He was turning in the air to shoot that ball. That's how hot he is. Uh, elaborate on a little floppy action. It's, uh, oh, what a strong move by Eric Dixon. It's when you get when you get screens down low and you can go off. Gives it back to Gillespie. Gillespie wants more to take advantage of the mismatch. Oh, and a great play. Jermaine Samuels with a baseline drive and finish. And great patience by Justin Moore. Took Miles under the basket, kicked it out, and got out of there. And Villanova now by six, back down to four, as Tiger Campbell knocks one down with a rebound. Both these teams are really physical every time the shot goes up. Well, you talk about catch to shoot, how about Justin Moore? Samuels has Campbell on him inside. They got to try to get him the ball. Instead, it's Daniels with a kick, the extra pass. Moore finds an open Gillespie for three. Now they're just moving the ball, driving it, and spraying it. You get the ball into the paint, kick it out to an open three-point shooter, and Villanova is getting their rhythm right now. And I've heard you and Fonz and Seth as Campbell answers. Talk about one thing that into the second. Villanova is still playing a lot of one-on-one -on -one iso ball. Now they've been moving it and spraying it off of a drive. There's another one. Good pass. Later blocked by Johnson. That's why they brought Johnson here to wipe away shots. How about Tiger Campbell knocking down another three? That doesn't go down. Campbell just a 25% three-point shooter a year ago. Back-to-back -back threes to get the Bruins back within four. Samuels wide open. Nobody closed out on him. What a game. Switch. Now it's Gillespie on Johnson inside. Lob it up to him. Bernard turns it over. Juzan. Johnson. Bernard cleans it up and knocks it down. I want to go to Juzang here. Get him, get him the ball. Daniels is on him. Dixon, the five man, trying to guard Hawkins. Count it and one. Gillespie backing down Tiger Campbell. Three Offensive foul. Gillespie backing down Tiger Campbell. Three Offensive foul. I mean, how many times have we seen this on both ends of the floor? Behind the play, it's five on four. Slater, the lefty, drives and banks it home. Oh, what a strong move for a guard. They are going after him. And Slater gets that middle drive. Miles Johnson just a little late. The transfer from Rutgers went to Long Beach Poly High School. You know, he's following Dixon out, needs to protect that basket, stay in the without concern about putting Villanova on the line. Moore over Bernard, and it goes. A ton of contact, but Moore went through the top. And there's a foul called on Gillespie. Rebounded, which they've done a great job, especially Hawkins Jr. Good matchup here. Hawkins guarding Samuels. Samuels with a 17 footer, not there, and it belongs to the Bruins. Great defensive stand by UCLA. But now, remember, because Juzang came out on defense, he is not in there right now on this offensive possession for UCLA. Campbell's got to go after Dixon here. He does. Tried to pass it to Johnson, and now Bernard's going to reset. 
Off balance, off the glass, and good. I think he thought he was going to draw a foul on. Clark on Moore again. He's got his hand on him the whole time. That's a foul by itself. Seven seconds. And Campbell fouls Gillespie and Villanova. My guess is you'll see that. And to Moore. Clark right up on him. Moore the drive. Not there. And we are going to overtime here at Pauley Pavilion. Go after him. Pull up for three. Rebound Johnson. Campbell for three. Rebound Hawkins. Hawkins has grabbed every rebound. And now an offensive foul called on Tiger Campbell. Jermaine Samuels stepped in and took the charge. After a brilliant pass out by Miles Johnson. Bernard can't shake. Moore, Campbell the drive, the spin, the turnaround. What a really good player is going head to head. Moore trying to back down Bernard. And left it short, got it back, blocked. Well, Campbell wide open on the weak side. Juzang with a tough... Turnaround jumper, UCLA has the lead. He's got every shot in the book. Thought he was going to go turnaround jumper over his right shoulder. Instead, went to his left. Slater. That's an offensive foul. Yes, it is. Now, here he is on the offensive end. Just a terrific, he looks like he dragged that foot a little bit but got away with it. What a terrific shot by Tiger Campbell. Then took the charge down on the other end. And Johnny Juzang, when he was backing Gillespie in, I thought he was going to go turnaround jumper to the baseline side, but made the harder turnaround jumper over his other shoulder. Hakez for three! Assists. And has made great plays on both ends of the floor toward the end of regulation and in overtime. What will the response be from Villanova? Gillespie finds Samuels. Hawkins in a Gillespie battle, and it's UCLA ball. It was right there to really bother that shot, made it extraordinarily difficult. Moore. Bernard stays with him. Everybody's staying home on shooters, so he couldn't spray the ball out to somebody open. Samuels. Tries to split a double team and he got fouled. But a lot of these players for the foul is four. I just saw the replay. It was a different angle. One of two for Samuels, a four point game, 90 seconds to go. A one, two, two, three quarter court pressure. They've not come off shooters. Peyton Watson is back in for UCLA to play some defense. Offensive rebound Slater, and he's going to the line of this game. Chris Archie, Archie Diacono played six minutes. None of the pressure. Into the final minute, UCLA with the ball and a four-point lead. And Hawkins may just take Dixon on his own here. Spread the floor, let him go one-on-one. -on -one. He's trying. Took a bump. And a whistle and a foul. I don't know what he eats for breakfast, but I assume it's galvanized. <laughs> yeah, they don't have to have the three, but it wouldn't hurt. Daniels, and a chance for three. Doing it the hard way, going right into the chest. But she came back into the game when Moore fouled out. Daniels hadn't played in a long time, but he understood the situation, and he put matters into his own hands. Free throw here, could make it a one-possession game. Samuels the foul and Hockey is heading back. He got injured in the Cal State Bakersfield game. I mean, this is a deep and talented Bruin team. In overtime. That's been one tough team the way they played. Slater. 
Daniels with a corner three. Samuels the rebound. They need threes now. Daniels. Bernard runs it down. Villanova has to foul, and that should. Right. What a start to the basketball season. The final score, the margin obviously does not tell the story. An overtime win. Two great teams and a great effort put forth by both of them. Samuels for three. At the start of the second half. What do you his first four? For six, I believe, in the second half. He'll finish with 25. And UCLA will pick up a win they will really save.